over 70% of your damn folios watching this right now are not subscribed. So what you waiting for? Subscribe! <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Woodmill Inquiry. Guys, we are back. We are back right now. And last episode, we had a few little issues. I'm not going to lie to you right now. We had a few little issues trying to build a conveyor system. Since last episode, I figured out how to build it. It still is a little bit awkward and annoying, but I figured it out. Once you figure it out and realize the little trick you got to do, it's actually quite easy to build conveyor systems. But guys, welcome back. Today, we're going to continue the expansions. I need to buy a bigger truck. A bigger truck to what I've got right now because I can't fit everything in it. So we're going to go on another little adventure and find all the little good stuff. And hopefully continue the expansions. Now guys, if you are enjoying the series, want to see more of Woodmill Inc. on the channel, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. As the updates keep coming out thick and fast, guys, please subscribe so you're notified when that next episode does come out. And leave a comment saying Senek you full play some more and we'll do just that. So as you can see right now, guys, I had a few little bit of issues trying to get the um, the conveyors up and running to our little system. But right now, you can see they fit perfectly. I'll show you exactly how I got them working a little bit later on. But I need to get a bigger truck. Not only do I need to get a bigger truck, but I need to extend my land a little bit more. Because if I get a bigger truck, I'm going to need some more room to place it on. So we're going to buy the biggest truck we can so far in the game. It's the one with two seats on. And hopefully expand some land. So this is going to be a pretty cool one. So let's jump into the vehicle then. And while we still have a little bit of daylight, where's the sun? The sun is up in the sky. I realize the sun is like a... a is it a hexagon? Um, all the trees are shaped like hexagons. So many hexagons. So many hexagons. Now, what do I do first? I think the first thing I'm going to do is actually going to go buy a new vehicle. And if I can remember correctly, it's over in this direction somewhere. I remember us having to climb up a big hill. Oh, this dude's got some good stuff on the go right now. Some floodlights. He got some big chunky pieces of the uh, the lava wood right now. Dude, oh, what's this? Hold on. Who is this dude here? What's this? Are they, are they hiding little Easter eggs from us right now? There's a little cactus tree, a little rubber ducky. Can I go in this building? No. Hmm. The developer's going to put a few little Easter eggs around right now. I think they are, guys. I think they are. But, guys, I just want to say right now, a lot of you guys are enjoying this series so far and enjoying the episodes and really excited for where this game is going to go in the future. Uh, I'm really excited, too, and I can't wait. So, again, if you really want to see more of this, guys, subscribe if you are new around here so you get notified when those next episodes do come out. Now, I remember there being a store uh, up on the hill somewhere. So, we've got to go and find that store again because it did sell the next vehicle that i need a bigger vehicle a higher capacity vehicle and i believe it's up i think we go to the left because if you go to the right isn't that towards the volcano i can't even remember though the volcano was no i think the volcano is to the left as well i think it is i think it is but let's keep climbing anyway it's such a big climb i'm hoping this next vehicle as well is also a little bit quicker a little bit faster there's so much to explore. Like, so much to explore right now. But we're driving up the hill. A million miles an hour! No, not really. We, we, it, like, ten miles an hour at best. But uh, up here right now is a dude getting some, some goods. And it's just over here. Um, the store called the Advanced Automobiles. Oh, there's the volcano over in that direction. Nice. And like I said, I think this is where you buy the bigger truck. You can see it in the window right now. It has two seats. Now, I'm hoping I can get this in the back of my current truck. I'm also hoping I've got enough money. I probably haven't. How much is it? It's 800 big ones. I've got 400 big ones right now. So, gonna it's gonna, gonna grab some cash, guys. Again, you know, support the devs and all that jazz. Supporting the developers. Spending some monies. There you go, developers. Enjoy that cash. All this just so your boy can get a bigger vehicle. It's a two-seater vehicle. So here we go, boys. You want to purchase the two-seater vehicle for 800 big ones? Yes, please. Now, the only reason I want this is so I can then uh, pretty much store more items in the back of my truck. Is this going to go in? Oh, it just about goes in, doesn't it? Hold on. Rotate, rotate. It's just about gone in. 
I think I'm going to miss my little small vehicle. It's done us proud, guys. It's done us well. It's pretty cute. Um, but, yeah. We've got to go bigger and better, guys. We've got to go slowly bigger and better as time goes on. We're going to get these improvements, boys. We're going to get all the improvements right now. So now I'm going to drive down the hill. And this is going to be crazy. So I don't think I've drove down the hill before. In the old Lumber Tycoon, you kind of did some slidey business and it went all a little bit funky and weird and quite dangerous. But it's pretty stable in this one. It is pretty stable. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Oh! You see, as I went over a little bump right there, the, the cargo in the back did a little bit of a jump. Will you do it here? Woo, oh no. Not as much there. Maybe on the next one. Maybe on the next one. But um, we got a million miles to drive right now. So we'll get this down. Now, do I buy land next? Or am I just buying or placing the vehicle down? I feel like I need to extend my land slightly now. So I think we'll do that straight away. Then we can chop so much more beautiful wood down. So much more wood can be chopped. And, so, and I can buy so much more stuff because I can fill it all in the back of the truck. So you guys, tip 101. As soon as you can, buy a bigger truck. So, the little land store is just here. Hopefully no one steals my truck and my new truck. I, got, I just realized I got double trucks. So, spare to me, John. Watch your cat for me, boy. Uh, yes, I would. So, if you have land, would you like to expand it? Yes, please. I would like to expand it. Okay, maybe not. I'll see you soon, John. I'll see you soon. 3,000 big ones. I told you someone's going to steal my truck. I told you someone's going to steal my, my truck. Stop stealing my truck. Get out of here, Sonia. Get out of here quickly. She's following you. She's following you right now. <laughs> uh, but 3,000 big ones to extend and expand our land. Yeah, I kind of wait. I kind of wait till I got the money. She's still on the back of my truck right now. She's still on the back of my truck. Whoa! She teleports in front of my face. She teleported in front of my face. Right, so we're going to have to reconfigure some of this. So let me check this. Move the structure. And if I rotate it just here and place it there. This dude's like, I'm a big fan. Are you a Dyson? I, I, that's a terrible joke. Terrible joke. Thank you. You appreciate it, appreciate it, guys. Uh, but I gotta get this new truck down right now. I gotta get this new truck down now. This has a bigger base. He wants a screeny. Go for it, dude. Let me just get, line up for you. I think I'll face this truck this direction just so it's a little bit easier to get out right now until I do have 3,000 big ones. Um, let me just say short to this dude right now. Gotta, gotta be good, gotta be good, guys. Gotta give the peeps what they need, right? I'm gonna get the peeps what they need. So that, oh my goodness me, it is a huge truck. Can I, I can't spawn that other one in from over here. No, I can't spawn it. I'll respawn it in anyway. It costs $6 every time. Oh, that's a nice color. Can I change this one to be in a nice color? I'm not, I'm not, oh, they're the same. They're the same right now. Right, watch out guys coming through. So this truck is huge. So much bigger this time around. So with that said, we're going to extend our conveyor system a little bit. Now, I had a lot of trouble trying to build the conveyor system before. Don't want to talk about it, okay, guys? Don't want to talk about it. But I figured it out. I figured out exactly what you need to do to be able to place down your conveyor pieces. Now, if I go for a normal conveyor here, we'll buy a couple of these right now to show you exactly how it goes down. So actually, no, not a normal conveyor. We'll buy some tilted ones. So funnel conveyor, turn conveyor, tilted conveyor. This is what I want. Because we're going to make it go high because the whole point of it is we're going to um, make it go high enough that it can fall into the back of your truck. Now, 120 for these. Holy smokes. This dude's making some serious cash right now. Where's my box gone? Oh, there it is. Squeeze me, coming through. Right, hold on. Rotati. Rotati. And rotate some more. Why would this not rotate the way I want it to? And it's as good as, right? It's as good as. I want to buy one more. <laughs> so it's all the way over here right now. 
So the whole point of this new vehicle then is to be able to get multiple boxes in. I had to kind of jig the system on the last single seater vehicle. There we go. Had to mess around with the system right now. Yeah, yeah. I, I, speak to David. I want to buy it. But hopefully this, this one, it should go in pretty easy. So we'll just buy two anyway. There we go. Oh, no. We dropped it again. Do you know what? There's plenty of room. I might be able to buy a third one. Should we see if I can buy a third one? All right, hold on. We can definitely buy a third one. The back of that truck is a lot bigger than I actually originally thought it was. So another tilted conveyor. We buy. Do you know what I should have got, guys? The little trolley thing outside. Right, no, not check the conveyor. When you place a box on the counter, they should disable the check box ability. So you can go straight on to buy it. Right, out the door we go. I got three tilted conveyors in my truck. Oh, no. I see this game is having um, the same vehicle issues as Lumber Tycoon 2. So authentic. Love it. Beautiful. So let's drive down the hill then and get these conveyors to where I need to get them. And I'll show you exactly what my issue was and how I figured it out and how I fixed it. Now, has she been keeping my conveyor safe? I think she's been keeping my conveyor safe. But I'll get over to here right now. I'll move the, the normal structure over here. I'll move this one over here. And then we'll redo all this then. So wood goes in on the wider side, doesn't it? So I move the structure right now. So if I place this, for example, just here. Right, I show you exactly what my issue was before. So if I go to place a conveyor down... I really struggle to get it lined up. You can't place it. You can't get the height down. And I'm thinking, oh, no, this is not going to be good. Like, you rotate it, you turn it, and all that kind of jazz, and you can't get it lined up. What you have to do is, let me put it back to where it was, because, again, you can't see there. Place it on the conveyor, rotate, and then, hang on, place it on. And then you should be able to, if this person wasn't standing here right now, place it down. Right, where there's a will, there's a way. We'll build around her. So placing it on there, you got to keep rotating it to the point where it matches up how you're wanting to build it. Right. So place it on the side. There we go. So you got to put it on the side of the conveyor and then move it down. Oh, see, <laughs> it just sucked off inside of it. So to show you again, won't go in, won't... Oh, this one actually fits them perfect. Are there, is it going to embarrass me right now? It's going to embarrass me right now, isn't it? Let me move this structure. So you might get a little bit tasty then. I think that was because it was already the right the right, or the correct way around, wasn't it? So basically, get on the side there and just keep rotating and, and turning it until you get it lined up. It's annoying, but it's just one of those things, isn't it, guys? Not really much you can do. But once you figure out the little kind of thing you have to do for it, placing down conveyors is actually pretty easy. It is pretty easy. I can get this one right at the very end. So that allows me then to place wood in, be processed, go up, and then fall into the back of a truck. But we've got to test it out, haven't we, guys? We're going to test this new little conveyor system out right now. So let me grab a little bit of the tree. Chop this down. Timber! Right, here we go, boys. Chop a little bit here. There we go. So I've got to get then my truck underneath it. Get my truck underneath it. Line it up just right. There we go. Jump out. And then we're going to go grab a beautiful piece of wood. So, right, we might as well just grab these sticks. So now I've got an entry point. It should make it a little bit easier to do it. This dude asked me if I'm wreck. Do I tell him not today? <laughs> full with the dude. Right, that will go in right now. And then gets processed. Oh, wait! These are facing the wrong way. So flip the switch. Flip the switch. Flip the switch. So they're facing the wrong way, so they, they couldn't travel up. So all new wood should be fine. Is that close enough? 
Oh, it's just about close enough where it works. Right, let me go for, like, the bigger piece right now. Let me chop at the very end. There we go. I keep pressing number one to get rid of my axe. It is slightly annoying. Right, turn this down. Bam. There we go. So now we'll get processed all over again. So it's only very basic and very simple, but this is the start of your boy's conveyor system. So it just gets over to exactly where I want it. It's a beautiful system. And my face cam has just disappeared. It's your boy. Back again with face cam. Don't ask me what just happened, guys. There was a glitch in the matrix. Okay? There was a glitch in the matrix. But we're getting these beautiful pieces of wood in right now. So, like I said, it's a very... Why am I glitching on that one piece of wood? It's a very basic and simple conveyor system setup. But it's the start of something much greater and much more beautiful. I'm impressed. Very impressed right now. My wood is now stuck. Is this normal? Is it normal to be stuck like that? Probably not. Probably not. But in it falls, kind of. And then we jump in the truck. And we go and sell it. Simple, right? Or at least you think it is. At least you think it is. So, basic, simple, effective, does what it needs to do. Process wood, throw it in the back of my truck, so I can then go on to sell it and make some money. Easy. Completely missed it. There we go. Throw you in. Nope, missed it again. There we go. Pick you up, throw you... No, missed it. There you go. <laughs> throw you in, there you go. And it is all possible because your boy has a bigger truck. Bigger truck, which means I can carry more wood. I can then carry more boxes from the store so I can build bigger setups. It all started with a bigger truck, guys. It all started with a bigger truck. And I think on that note, guys, we are going to end it here. Now! we can finally start the expansions. So if you did enjoy this episode, guys, please smash that like button down below. If you're new around here, make sure you do subscribe. But until next time, I will see you all soon. So, good. Bye. <laughs>